Okay, so uh, let's assume everything's gone well. So uh, on the day uh, when you set up to the meeting, um, make sure it's got like venue, parking, etc. sorted out, and you got there early. That's a key thing. Um, so you turn up smartly. That's what you know, it's expected as well. So you dress smartly, right? Venue, early doors. There should be somewhere to meet you at, at the door. That's a really good sign of a good networking group. Uh, but it depends on the venue. For a large, if it's held in a large hotel, it's like the bar. Um, there may not be someone there to meet the reception, but if you go to the reception desk, they will tell you where the meeting is. And normally they are geared up to, to point you in the right direction. Look out for signage as well. So if for BNI, for example, they will have a roll top banner, which do not even be a table with uh, something on that basis. But basically just look out for signs on that basis. But generally, the good sign of a good meeting is the fact that there is someone there to meet you anyway and give you a good, a good greeting as well. So when you are greeted or when you invite the right place, uh, ask for the person who um, invited you. So whoever you asked to invite you. Um, make sure that uh, they, if they're not there, that you will be introduced to them. It's a really good way to start uh, start off the meeting on the right foot. Uh, you have someone to talk to, you already have a conversation with them, they know what to expect, etc. Uh, alternatively, uh, as I said, if you've done your homework, you're looking for, if you know who in the in the group you'd like to speak to, ask to speak to them. Just say, oh, is Rob Eyre or Mildred or whatever may, their name may be. Make sure that you can ask for the people that you really want to speak to. So rather than just spending all your time just talking to anyone in the room, you are speaking to the people that in this kind of open networking session, which is normally between 15 and 30 minutes before the, the meeting actually starts, you are talking to the people that you most want to speak to. That's very, very important on that side. Uh, so make sure you are talking to the right people, we said. Um, the idea behind open networking, as, as some of referred to, it's basically meet and mingle. It's just um, having a cup of coffee people, just talking to people who are standing up, they're asking questions, etc. What I would say is do not try and sell. Uh, do not sort of try to send to individuals. You can tell stories about um, the things that you've done, some really good case studies, people you've helped, the type of people looking for, but don't try and sell your wares. Don't try to say, oh, this is what I do, and I do this, and I do that, etc. Very quickly, you turn people off on that basis, because I've seen it in, in, in the past. The key thing is really to listen to what people are saying to you. And I found a very, very powerful phrase to use is, how can I help you get more business? So you say that to them. So that immediately puts you in a different category as far as they're concerned. This is a person I want to do business with because you get it. You get you, it shows that you demonstrate that you understand how networking works. It's about understanding, yeah, I'm, I'm here as a visitor, but I really want to help you. I want to help you out. And that says to the people in the room, this is the person we want to, want to deal with. It's a very, very powerful tool if you use it. Now, clearly, if someone says that to you first off, by all means, respond. This is what I'm looking to do. This is the kind of people I'd like to speak to. But try and reflect it back as soon as you can. But how, that's good for me, but how can I help you? How can we work together? What can I do for you to help you? That makes a big big difference in terms of how you're perceived in the room. But do not try to sell your words. Bear in mind, you're not looking probably to sell what you do to the people in the room. You're looking to educate them to go and find the people that you want to speak to. So if you think about buying and selling businesses, it's very unlikely that anyone in that room is looking to buy or sell a business. But they may well know people who are. That's what you're after. That's what the people are trying to, to get to. So you don't, there's no point in trying to sell to that room. What you want to do is get to the idea whereby they understand who you want to speak to. But clearly, you demonstrate to them that you want to help them as well. Very, very strong on that side. Just think about the image you want to create within the room as well. You want to be seen in a positive light. So as I said, dress smartly does help. But also be polite. Be friendly. Smile. Be helpful. Try, you know, offer to get other people a cup of coffee rather than just being, being waited on. Uh, by other people. Um, just say please, thank you. It's standard stuff. Yeah, how you, you expect to behave anyway. But these things are noticed. Uh, somebody's quite arrogant and um, full of themselves, etc. People do not usually want to get along with those people. People are friendly and helpful and polite. People do want to get on with them. So it's very important that you go in with that, that right kind of attitude, etc. Now, during the meeting, um, there will be a standard for the standard format is usually something along these lines but we'll see how it goes so the meeting will start with introducing the organization whatever that networking organization is why it's better than all the rest they will talk about we're not like this we do this we do things in different ways etc most most meetings start in the same way that's fine it's just how, how they are the main element of the meeting is what we term the 60 seconds pitch whereby everyone in the room talks about their business if they know what they're doing, they'll ask for specific people. They'll be asking for uh, either a specific type of company or a specific person within the company. Write this down. Write these, these, these things down and be seen to be writing it down as well. It's very, very important. It's a bit like when you were learning to drive uh, your car 
and you sort of make it very obvious that you're looking in the rearview mirror, make it very obvious that you're writing down uh, what people are asking for. If you just sit there with your arms crossed and you look out the window or you're playing on your mobile phone, these are not good signs that you are a good member. These are signs that you are, you're Dory K, you've just been there for, you know, for the hell of it, I don't know why you've been there in the first place. Um, so bear in mind the image you present all the way through the meeting, you will be looked at, people will be checking you out on that basis. One of the things I did say uh, in the previous sessions about getting your LinkedIn profile organized because people will ask, uh, are you on LinkedIn? Have you got your LinkedIn profile? Can I check it out? So they will be checking out on that basis. And when you give them a business card, trust me, at least 50% of the room will be checking you out on LinkedIn pretty much soon after the meeting if you've come across in, in the right manner, which is good. Uh, the other side of that is obviously after the meeting, when you get home, you may find some uh, some requests uh, to link in on LinkedIn. Just do it. Just just don't be <laughs> don't be picking that side. If they've asked to connect to you, it's very polite to say yes, that's fine, let's connect and let's see how we work on that basis. I so say the main means of part of the meeting when people are doing the six second pitch is to write stuff down, right? Look for uh, write down who they're looking for. But key to that is also saying if you know that person, if you think you can help them or know some like it, tell them. Just say I think I can help you there. Again, it just sets you in, in a, a better light as far as the room is concerned. Uh, but also think of that side. Obviously, when you come to your 60 seconds or your 30 seconds, which have it, how long they give you to do so, you have rehearsed it already, so you know what to do. You just stand up and, and go. If you struggle with speaking in uh, in public, don't worry about it. Everyone else has been in that situation. I wouldn't worry about it too much. They're just there to listen and find out what you're trying to do. But be very clear about, leave them with a clear indication about what you do, who you want to do it for, and who you want to speak to. That will help on that basis. There may well be people who just want to start chucking business your way straight away. In a lot of cases, though, they wait until you join before that happens. But you may hear things, oh, I know somebody who's doing that, or I know something like that. That's good to know, work on that side. Uh, at the end of the meeting, um, they will probably ask you, what did you feel? Be, be positive. Don't give any negatives out. If you did like the coffee, it doesn't matter. Just be positive. It's a very friendly uh, group. A lot of business being passed. It's a nice place to be. I can see myself being, being part of this. Thank everyone for their, their time and, and their, their warm welcome. Again, being polite, just being friendly goes a long way. You may be taken aside to talk about joining. Um, I think the standard element where would be this is the first meeting. I'd, I'd rather come back another time and find out a bit more about it. Um, ask a few questions and have a few questions prepared if you want to. Have an indication of what you think membership is going to cost you. And they should tell you what the overall cost is. There should be um, the additional cost of, of the weekly venue meeting costs, etc. All, all in there. We'll come on to that in a second. But basically, do not commit to anything unless you feel, yes, this is really the place for me. I really want to be part of this. Give it another go first. Don't jump into anything. There are plenty of other groups out there. And I would say shop around first. Try three or four different groups through four different venues, three or four different times as well. Find which gives you the best um, vibe, which which one feels best for you. You know, It may not be all the people in the room are right for you, but if you feel comfortable and happy in a particular group, go for that one. I, I, I definitely recommend that. It should work on that basis. Um, and that's about it, really. Uh, so on the day, just have those things like turn up early, ask the person who's invited you, meet and mingle, don't try and sell. Remember, how can I help you get more business? That's going to be a key phrase to use. Um, be polite, be friendly, helpful, smiling, and write stuff down. Be seen to be writing stuff down during the meeting. It's, it's a really good uh, positive view to have. And that should be it on the day. See how you go. If you can help people out, with referrals, etc. to do so, but don't feel you, you have to do that on that basis. But make sure everyone remembers you, make, make sure you have something memorable for them to remember you by. And if you are invited back, that means you, you, you've scored on that basis and, and done a good job. So that's it for the meeting.